Hi everyone, I think I've got a fun one today. We're gonna to compare two trim levels, two very popular trim levels of 2021 Toyota 4Runner. You can also use this comparison if you're reviewing previous year models. There's no reason why you can't extrapolate the data and go with a 2020, 2019, 2018. Although 4Runner was refreshed in 2020, it had a really cool improvement in 2021, you can still use that data. Let's get started with this one here because I am fired up. First contestant, we've got Barcelona Red SR5. This is a two wheel drive. It also comes in four wheel drive, but we're gonna go four by two versus four by two. And then, and then this one here is classic silver metallic. It's a limited two wheel drive. It's a beaut. It's a real beaut, Clark. I do take viewer requests. That's one way my reviews get better over time. I hope they do at least. They wanna know, could I talk about curb weight? Because that's important when you hit the trails and when you accessorize so you know how what you put on the car or what you have on the car is going to affect hitting those off-road trails and passes and things like that. All right, curb weight on a limited is going to be 4,525 pounds, two-wheel drive. On an SR5 two-wheel drive, it's going to be 4,400. So 4,400 versus 4,525. This must mean we're gonna be talking about front end comparison. But first, do me a favor. Let's do an audience poll all across the country, all across the world. Stop the video and leave a comment. Let me know where you're watching this video from. Let's see how far this thing gets. That's exciting, right? All right, front ends. The Limited, of course, is gonna have more luxury features, including the front end. It's luxury, it's prestige, it's style. And what goes better with those three things than lots of chrome? We've got chrome accents. They get a little bit thinner as you get higher. Accented with the Toyota symbol here. And then over here, you've still got chrome, but it's color keyed accents on the SR5. So that's one noticeable difference. The other thing, this is an improvement for 2021 models. You're gonna see LED headlights, LED daytime running lights, and LED fog lights on every trim level. However, the Limited also has not only LED low beams, but LED high beams as well. So that's something that you'll see on the Limited, Limited Nightshade, and on TRD Pro. Forerunner comes the Toyota Safety Sense, which means it has pre-collision system with pedestrian detection during the daytime. It has automatic high beams, it has lane departure alert, and radar cruise control. You'll see that it's going to have, see those LEDs, I like it. It's got parking sensors right in front of the chrome or above the chrome. Isn't that beautiful? You're gonna see me in a minute. Hey, look, there's me. This Jeff was made for walking. That's what he's going to do. One of these days, these forerunners are gonna drive all over you. All right, so here we go with the SR5, and you can still see it's got LED, LED, LED. So uh, yeah, I'm really glad you guys are out here tonight. Sometimes to tell really dumb jokes. Anybody in the audience from Kashyyyk? You, the furry lady in the front? Excellent. Did you hear Chewbacca used to play baseball? Yeah, he was pretty good. He won Wookiee of the Year. <laughs> oh, get it, Chewbacca, Wookiee of the Year. We're gonna talk about engine performance, but the first thing I'm gonna... Plane. Safe travels, my friends. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is suspension because you still have coil spring, double wishbone suspension on both vehicles. But this one here, the Limited, adds in X Reyes, X dash R E A S sport enhanced suspension and a lot of people feel that this gives the limited a softer smoother ride you'll have to be the judge of that yourself suspension on four runners as far as on-road driving it's one of those things you really need to test out for yourself limited it's supposed to have a little bit smoother suspension and ride you be the judge you definitely don't need me in the picture to look at this because i want to tell you about the 4.0 liter V6 engine that's in all four runners. It's matched with a five speed automatic transmission. And that's gonna give you 270 horsepower and 278 pounds of torque. Of course you rate your torque. When you abbreviate it out, it'll be LB period dash FT period. That's 
foot-pounds of torque. I guess they agreed. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Holla! And then it's got some holla, 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 holla. You'll notice that it has soundproofing material here underneath the hood. It also has pneumatic lifts that slowly, safely, comfortably, hopefully for a long time, keep that hood in place until you slam it shut. You'll notice from the last scene that that's how my videos roll. Sometimes things don't always go 100% perfectly, but I think it's important for you to be part of the video too and know what goes on behind the scenes, right in the middle of shooting. We're gonna have some bloopers. We're gonna have some mistakes. We're going on. We're continuing. Let's go on with the show. This is the greatest show. Let's talk about these kicks here. All the other kids with the pumped up kicks. This one's pumped up 20 inch alloy wheels. It's gloss black and metallic accented. And it kind of reminds me of a sort of like a two tone thing in that it has luxury stamped all over it, but it also has a little bit of sportiness, a little edge to it. What do you guys think of this one? Now let's turn our attention to this one colored metallic 17 inch alloy wheel. Now, does this change your mind which one you like better? Oh mama! Forerunner of course is the toughest SUV in the entire world I feel. It's great for on-road, it's great for off-road. It's a body on frame design, which means that the frame and the body, they're bolted securely together. So when you do that, it takes a licking on the off-road trails. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right, look at these 20 inch alloy wheels here. Boom, I fall. All right, 20 inch alloy wheels. This has ventilated disc brakes in the front and then the rear. It's 13.3 inch ventilated disc brakes in the front, 12.28 ventilated disc brakes in the rear. Now we've got turn signal indicators. That's something you will not see on the SR5, but you will on an SR5 premium upgraded one. You will not see on any Forerunner blind spot monitor. It's not standard from the factory. It's also not an option or as part of an option package upgrade. So don't look for it. You're not gonna find it. Okay, the limited one has smart key, auto lock, auto unlock, just like that. And then if I walk up to it with the key in my pocket, like I got, it unlocks it just like that. It has chrome plated door handles. See the crossbars. It's beautiful, right? Of course it says limited. This is an upgrade right here. These step boards, the running boards. You can also get Predator Pro step bars. You can get oval crushed all black matte boards. You can get W drop step. There are so many different choices. Each region is gonna have different options for what you wanna add when you customize it at the regional port. Limited. Here's our Barcelona friend, SR5. Look at this. This is an SR5 key. This would be the key that you'd see in a limited. It's also the key that you'd see in an SR5 premium. So when you upgrade, you switch out keys and then it'll have the auto lock and unlock door handles on the front, just like our limited friend here. We're gonna see color keyed door handles here. And then the same thing as far as the disc brakes in the front and the rear. This has the upgraded chrome plated boards. And then just notice up here, these are black, whereas those over there are metallic, like a brushed silver. So that's kind of interesting how that's different. Tip on SR5 versus SR5 Premium. Also a tip on TRD Off-Road versus TRD Off-Road Premium. If you see a turn signal indicator, that means while you're walking out in the dealership lot, or if you're a salesperson and you're like, which one is this? You wanna look really smart? No turn signal indicator, SR5, TRD Off-Road turn signal indicator it upgrades to those premiums or it might be a limited or nightshade or something like that that's what you look for to sound really really intelligent unlike me here's one thing that you'll want to know if you're a fan of sun roofs or moon roofs on the limited you've got that standard okay on the sr5 that would be something that you'd want to upgrade same thing with trd off-road you'd want to upgrade to that one so make sure you don't assume it's going to be on something that's less trim level than our limited friend i'm falling a lot of times when you're comparing trim levels for the same vehicle you don't expect to see too many differences between the back ends between the rear ends well between the sr5 and the limited i can think of several differences i want to tell you that there are three 
Uno Dos Tres configurations that you can get in an SR5, SR5 Premium, Limited, Limited Nightshade. You can get third row seats. You can get nothing, empty cargo space, better for stacking. Or you can get a sliding rear cargo deck. My friend Christina over at Fred Anderson Toyota channel, she was nice enough to compare all three configurations. I'm gonna put a link to her video there so you can look at that later. All right, let's look at these configurations and then we're gonna look at the differences. The SR5, this specific SR5, I should say, it has an all weather cargo tray, it's lipped. I suggest that anybody who's buying a new vehicle or even for your used vehicle, pick one of these up in your parts department or build it into your deal. It's probably about $99, $150, something like that, but it holds all of your dirty, wet sports equipment, gym bags, hiking equipment and gear, mulch, potting soil, and then you could just spray it out at home, put it on your back deck or porch, let it dry off, and then stub it back right in. Shove it right back in. This one's an empty cargo compartment. Notice how it has these hook tie-downs that you can bungee things down so they're not gonna roll around and things like that. It also has a grounded outlet, 120 volt, 400 watt, and a 12 volt circular port. This is the empty configuration. This limited here has a different configuration. Still got that all weather tray, but this one has third row seats. You wouldn't know it unless you actually saw it. They pull up just like this, so you can use this for a little bit of storage space and then this is a sixth passenger maybe a seventh passenger or you can stack things up here or you can fit everybody here but lots of different options for you see how i open and close those two different ways so lots of versatility here as well this one has the jbl upgraded sound system i'm going to show you back here you can see the grounded outlet, the 12 volt circular port, and then one of our pop and kicking speakers. Pretty noticeable differences, wouldn't you say? Let's pick them apart here. We've got a color keyed accent piece right here that decorates the word Forerunner. We've got a chrome accent piece here. This has chrome along the bumper here. It also has backup parking sensors. And then this one right here is going to be color keyed. If you notice, both of them are gonna have the ability to lower the glass. This one's already lowered, and you could do that from the driver's seat or the passenger could do it. There's a little flip lever that you push down or pull up, and that'll get it to go down and then go up. How low can you go? Both of the vehicles have backup cameras right here underneath the lip to protect it from rain and snow and things like that. Every forerunner is gonna have a 5,000 pound towing capacity, and it's gonna come with your connectors, but not right by this it's gonna be over to the side and under. You'll also notice that your spare tire is gonna be underneath. Let's look a little closer. So are you gonna be a fan of Limited or SR5? Here's our spare tire, close up as promised, along with our wiring harness right there. And then let's looky over here. Let's show you what we got. get that? I think we did. Time for a quick scan of the interior to see the fabric seats versus the leather seats that you find in the Limited. Two-tone on this particular one. And then I'm going to show you how the middle seats recline and fold down so that you can use them to your advantage when you're doing cargo. Plane coming. Can we keep going? Look at all the leg room, the head room, and the shoulder room. For those of you new to my channel, I'm riding a flight path. It happens all the time and we've learned to accept it and love them. And then we're gonna look inside Limited here, which shows you the black seating, but it's leather. It's like on Happy Days, leather Tuscadero. Who's she related to? Pinky Tuscadero, that's right. You know, that's where the term jump the shark started. John Hine, hit him with the Hine, started it. That was the moment when Happy Days jumped the shark because Fonzie literally jumped over a shark in Happy Days. This is SR5. This is how the seats fold. You lift up on the seat, pop the headrest down, and 
now we've got a nice surface to work on. It's like a jungle gym. All right, flat surface here. We can just keep stacking me up until we hit the roof. And then I'll show you what it looks like. There's gonna be a little bit of an incline or decline, depending on which way you're facing, between the back part and the middle part. And this is what this looks like here. Look at all that space. If you ever wonder if Forerunner would be good for hauling things or for your next family road trip, yeah, not bad. Look at that. Flat enough. Limited's gonna be a little bit different here. We're gonna just pull the lever like that, right like this, and it folds down. Here's the back view with the Limited with the third row seats. SR5, we're gonna look at some differences. The audio is gonna be one thing that's different. The seating and of course some amenities are gonna be different as well. But they all have an eight inch touch screen now, which is really cool for Forerunner, I love it. And they do Apple CarPlay apps, Android Auto apps, Sirius XM apps, Amazon Alexa, Amazon Alexa, Amazon Alexa. Said it wrong the first time, so say it again so I won't do it again. All right, we'll just look on in here, get a view from the back. One thing that impresses me about Forerunner, any trim level, is the visibility. Huge windows, very few blind spots. Look at that big window, just kidding. I'll show that on the Limited. It has an O bleep handle right there. Look at that huge window, windshield. It's huge. Actually, I am going to show it on the SR5. There, lots of visibility, few blind spots. You'd be impressed if that's a consideration for you. Notice how each trim level is going to have with it rear air vents, two USB ports in the back. That changed with 2020. Just like LED lights across the board changed for 2021. It has a power driver's seat with lumbar support. They also have all auto windows, which means one touch. So if I were to push, say this one, one touch, it goes up. One touch, it goes down. Notice here, these have, you can probably see it on here. These have window tinning that was added to them. You can see the little crease, the little spot where the window tinning stops, but that's up into the window sill, So you really won't see it, that seam has a leather wrap steering wheel to it. Remember, they all have automatic high beams. This is the brightness of the dash, the mirror adjustments. This draws power to the back. So you'll see that's lit up there. Whereas if you push it off, it's not going to draw power. Here are your controls for voice commands answering a phone, hanging up a phone, radar, cruise control, lane departure alert, your multimedia touch screen and volume controls. Has a redesigned 4.2 inch multi-information display. Let's go across it right here. And the center console, this is what holds the button to lower your glass. I'm just gonna push it down and then we're gonna go over here and see it go down and then see it go up. One touch, but we control it. We are the captain now. And then in here, you see a 12 volt circular port. Oops, sorry everyone. Here's a USB and a 12 volt circular. Then we've got nice big grippy knobs here that are perfect for your temperature adjustments. This is single temperature controls. It's not dual temperature controls. Nice display right here. It's been redesigned for 2020 and I think it looks fantastic. It brings Forerunner technology to the modern era. Safety Connect. Has lighted mirrors. Auto dimming rear view mirror. Does not have a moonroof, remember? 
And the reason why you saw the LED lights up top, that has the LED interior light upgrade. Normally they'll be the yellowish type lights that you normally see in cars, but now they've been upgraded and they are, how much are they? It's pretty reasonable, $199 to get LED lights all the way across the board. I'm gonna show you the window sticker in just a little bit, but we gotta review the Limited. And one last thing, on the SR5, notice it does not have a power passenger seat. That's on the SR5, traditional SR5 trim. For the limited interior tour, we're gonna start over on the passenger side because I do wanna show you the difference. It has a power passenger seat. Notice the arrows, that doesn't mean it goes up and down. It goes forward and it goes backward, just like that. And then the back of the seat as well. But this is the leather interior and then also notice that it has the black has the white accent stitching it has wood grain trim plain we're still in the limited I have it turned on because I want to show you all the buttons and the controls and the dials it has the power driver seat still has the one touch windows leather wrap steering wheel a lot of the controls are gonna be very similar between the two models. Let's keep looking here. So it has the wood grain trim. It has dual temperature controls. So one person can be at 65, one can be at 72. It's got heated and cooled seats along with the wood grain Shiny, shiny, shiny. It's like the Mandalorian where Grogu keeps wanting to play with the shifter ball. Don't touch that. Don't touch that. This is the way. This is the way. It also has JBL speakers. 15 JBL speakers, my friends. One five, not 50. 15 with a subwoofer, amplifier. It's pretty cool stuff. Standard moonroof. It also has premium audio, which means that it upgrades to dynamic navigation system. This upgrades in real time. That means if there's new construction, if there's new accidents or subdivisions or buildings or businesses, it'll update in real time. What's the deal with that? It has home link for garage door opener programming. And these are the lights that you would see if you don't get the LED interior light package. That's available in the Southeast region. Be interesting to see if it's available in your particular region. So let's go and look at the back because I want to just look, let's see the seat pockets there with the nets, the Brooklyn nets. Remember when they used to be the New Jersey nets? I hate when teams switch cities, switch names hurts the fan base it's all about money but the fans are the ones who suffer sorry Cleveland Browns what do you think it's time for the window sticker comparison which one wins we got to balance out specs with price so this is the two-wheel drive SR5 I'm gonna start with the price 36 590 from the factory this one right here, Forerunner 4x2 Limited, instead of 36.5, this is 45.5. So it's $9,000 more two wheel drive versus two wheel drive. Let's look in closer. Barcelona Red with graphite interior made in Japan. Here's the safety ratings. The fuel mileage is going to be 17 combined for both of them. And then we'll look at features. Toyota Safety Sense, Safety Connect one year trial. All right. Our interior features. Look at that. What do you know? Here we go 36.5. And then they have a Keep It Wild savings. That's a way to reduce the price just a little bit for you. Maybe you'll want to buy it more. And then each car has individual options on it based on making it your own or finishing it off, so to speak. 
This one right here has running boards with chrome edge. There's a plane coming, but we're gonna keep going. All weather mats with all weather cargo tray, the LED interior light package, clear paint protection on the doors. So look at that, that's $1,446 added for options, puts it at 38.7. And then we'll compare that to the two wheel drive limited. The ratings are gonna be the same here. So is the fuel mileage. Okay, now we gotta look for value here, because remember, this is $9,000 more than an SR5. But then again, you'll see that between the starting trim level versus the highest level for pretty much any vehicle. It'll be that way with Highlander, with Camry, maybe not Corolla. But look at this here. Premium audio, eight inch touchscreen, leather seats. It's got a lot of options on it. The smart key, the moonroof. The Keep It Wild savings is gonna be a little bit more because it's higher price, better discount. Also, this is what you get for doing third row seating. $1,300, get it delivered. And then this one has some options on it. They're similar. We've got running boards with chrome edge, all weather mats, cargo tray, paint protection, and then a cable charging package. Those are cords and cables so that you can add extra ports. You can also use the cables to plug in your Android or iPhone. 48.3 on this particular one. Hi everyone, thanks so much for watching. Write down in the comment section, not only where you're watching the video from, because I want to get a poll. Who's watching in Ireland, in Africa, in England, in Minnesota, in Tampa, in New Mexico, in California. Let's hear it all. Raleigh, North Carolina here in the house, in the house, holla. All right, and then write down which one you like better. Do you like the Limited better? Do you like the SR5 better? Would you go with a different trim level? And maybe we'd also wanna get a gauge of which one's the better value. Limited costs more, but what do you think about the value? Is it worth it? Is the juice worth the squeeze? What do you guys think? All right, here are my social media platforms. I'd love it if you follow me on each one. I put a little bit different content on each one just so you don't get bored, but also so you see a different side of what we're doing here with the cars and with me and my life and my family and stuff like that. So on Instagram, I'm at Toyota Jeff one train. And then on Facebook, I'm at Toyota Jeff. And then you can also find me at TikTok, Toyota Jeff two. I just showed a video. It's an oldie, but a goodie. It's me when I got to meet my childhood idol Chewbacca at Disney World. I was pretty excited about that. So go to TikTok at Toyota Jeff two. And then I write for Torque News, torquenews.com slash Toyota. Thanks everyone so much. If you want to check out and leave me an email, you can go to toyotajeff.com. Thanks everyone. See you next time. Peace out. Time to run.